Good morning, Trinity families. Have you heard the word? What's the word? Today comes from John chapter 7, verse 38 and 39. I just want to ask, how are you guys holding up in this heat, Frederick? Because, whoo, it's a hot one. And have you been drinking enough water? Even when it's not hot, we're supposed to drink eight eight ounce cups a day. And that's because our body actually needs water to survive. Every cell, tissue, organ needs it to work properly. And when it's this hot, our bodies are sweating, we need to make sure we're replenishing. And our body actually tells us when we need more water, and that is called thirst. And you guys know what it's like to be thirsty because you can just picture the water. You can dream about it. You're desperate for it. Yes. And today, I want to give us a word that is gonna fill us up and quench that thirst on a hot day. Here we go, John 7, 38, 39. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. And this is Jesus talking. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water will flow from within him. Streams of living water will flow from within him. Jesus is our source of life and he is the one that satisfies us here on earth. It's like he's our, after a big gulp, but he's also our source of eternal life. And in this passage, that is called living water. And he gives us that Holy Spirit that works that living water in us and through us. Well, in our sinful self, our sinful nature, we look for other things to quench our thirst. We think if we just have that toy, big or little, if we, if so-and-so were our friend, if we went on that vacation, if we got recognized for this, if we accomplished this, but all of those things, even if we have them or they happen, they just leave us more thirsty. And that's because Jesus truly is the only one that can quench our spiritual thirst. He is all that we need. And so when we have our thirst quenched, we wouldn't just stand out on a 100 degree day and take a big gulp in front of someone without sharing it. And so he says that let those living waters flow through you to others so they can experience God's love and know that Jesus is the one that is refreshing. That promise today is so satisfying that you have living water in you. So let's pray. Frederick, are you ready? Lord Jesus, I just praise you that you are all that we need. And Lord, we want to say sorry for our sins. I'm sorry for when I try to quench my thirst through material things. Lord, I want to thank you for this day, as always, a new day. And also some of the people I've been meeting at all these parks. It's been really fun. And Lord, you tell us to bring all requests to you. I am asking that you are the one that hydrates us today, that you fill us up, fill our soul, and that there'd be opportunity for us to let that living water flow out to others. Lord, we're praying all these things in the powerful name of Jesus. Can I hear an amen? Amen. All right, yesterday's park, interesting little park. It was called, it is called Buck Man, and it's on South Weldon. And it really is a little park for littles, but there's also a basketball hoop, so pretty cool, check it out. Now today, as you can hear, I mean, there's a splash of a time going on, which I kind of chose that on purpose, as I'm sure you can imagine. But I'm here kind of tucked away in a corner, but you can hear the noises. So I'm gonna have you just take your best guess, and I am praying for you today that you would have a quenched, living water filled Thursday. God bless. Word up.